Hello everyone. I would like to present to you two new functions that were released on May the 10th, 2016 on Atlas TI Mac. The code forest and the code tree. We are now on version 1.0.47 in parenthesis 227. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I have here on, 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 uh, on the left side in the navigator uh, my codes. A characteristic of the code list in Atlas TI is that the list is flat. You do not see hierarchical distinctions in this, in this list. Now let's suppose that you want to uh, create uh, something like a taxonomic structure. Uh, let's say, for example, we have here apples, bananas, fruits, green apples, as well as red apples. So what I will say is that apples and bananas, they are fruits, right? So that is my understanding. This is part of interpretation. So I will drag and drop those two codes onto fruits and select the relation is a they are apples and bananas are fruits uh, this is a code to code linkage that i am going to uh, uh, to create uh, the, these are semantic linkages so now what i will do is i will i will create a new network and i will bring these codes into the network. Let me let me move this like this. Okay. All right. Now I will bring into this network uh, other codes, the red apples as well as the green apples over here. Now, according to my understanding, green apples and red apples they are apples. Drag and drop. So is a they are apples. So this is a typical uh, a typical uh, uh, um, structure taxonomic structure uh, in which you have a code on top, kind of a large category, below that other subcategories, and below that other subcategories. So. Is a in Atlas TI is known as a, a relation of a transitive kind. Uh, is a is part of is a cause of are transitive relations. And transitive because you can say, well, uh, apples are fruits, and red apples are apples. Therefore, I can say that red apples are fruits, right? So that is what a transitive relation is. So when you have a network uh, that uses transitive relations, uh, then uh, what you can do is you can use that network uh, for coding. And you can visualize that hierarchy in your code list. So let me here uh, have more space for this. So. Let's take a look at this. I will I will um, activate the code forest. So what do we have here? Here we have all of the codes that I have in my project. One of those codes has a triangle next to it the code fruits. Now that code happens to be the one that is on top of this hierarchy, correct? Okay, so let me move it to the side like that. If I click on the triangle next to fruits, I will see the two codes that are under fruits in this network, bananas and apples. And if I click on the triangle next to apples, 
I will see two codes, green apples and red apples, which precisely corresponds to what I have here in the network. Now, the point of this is the following, that you can code your documents. Let me open here any of my documents, like this one here. You can code your documents uh, the way you always do, by dragging and dropping from, from, uh, from the navigator. Uh, and let's just, for the sake of the argument, let's say that this refers to apples. It's not really the case, but let's suppose, right? So I drag and drop, and the coding is taking place right there. Now, I also have the option with the code forest to code using that forest. So, let me go here to another segment, and let's select this segment over here, and let's say, also for the sake of the argument, uh, that uh, 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 here it's also referring to the same topic, apples. So I select apples from the tree, or I'm sorry, from the forest, drag and drop, and you can code from there as well. Okay, so you can keep on coding from your flat, uh, flat list in the navigator, or you can uh, do this from the code forest. And there is yet another one, another option, which is to code uh, using the code tree. So what I will do now is the following. I'm going to do this here. And now I will go to the navigator, and I will select one of these codes that I have. I will select the code fruits. Right-click on it, code tree. So what happens here? Now I, I see the, the, the hierarchy of one single code, the code fruits, because that is the one that I selected, right? So I don't see all of the other codes in my project. I just see one, the code fruits. So that is the difference between the code forest and the code tree. The code forest will show all codes, right? Uh, and uh, uh, within that, you will see the ones that are on top of hierarchies. The code tree will only show you the hierarchy of a selected code. Now, what you can do here is you can do exactly what you did uh, with the code uh, uh, forest, which is that you can place the, the, the tree side by side, and now, oops, let me, let me uh, hide that. Okay, good. I will now go to the uh, text here, and I will select the either the code tree itself or something uh, within it or under it. So let me select bananas in this case. So you drag and drop, and now you're coding from the tree. Okay. Now, this procedure is very uh, uh, useful uh, for people who are approaching their projects uh, with, an, with an a priori system of codes, right? So they have a very clear picture of what they want to look for, and that is represented in a framework, and then they create, uh, uh, let's say, a, a, a hierarchical system of codes uh, and then they can work from that from those codes. Now, be aware always, please, that there are methodological implications uh, to coding in this way. Okay, I, I will not touch on those implications in this video, but I will do that in in in, in other videos. Uh, just know that uh, you know uh, the ultimate purpose of qualitative data analysis is understanding the point of view of the participant. I would say. Uh, so, if we are coding from a structure represented by a tree or a forest, uh, you have to be very aware that you are coding from the point of view of a specific model, right? So, the methodological implications have to do with that. Uh, so, think about it, and, and, and we will have another video in which I will go a little bit deeper in, into that. So, for now, let's leave it like this. 
uh, this is the code tree and the code forest um, uh, they require uh, that you uh, create beforehand a code to code uh, network linking one code to the other through transitive relations is a is part of is a cause of thank you very much bye bye <laughs>